Uh, my name is Stefan Lubacek. Uh, I'm a former secretary of ASAP, which is the Association for the Scientific Study of Anomalous Phenomena. And I've come in, come uh, to the to Don this evening, but it's now sort of the early hours of the morning. That's my normal working two. day. <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah. Um, and it's been a remarkable experience. Um, we can't say much about it at the moment. Um, anyway, uh, fantastic to meet this gentleman. Uh, this is the second time I've met him now. Uh, we got introduced, what, a couple of months ago by a, a friend. Yeah, I think it was Robert, didn't he? Yeah, uh, prior to that, you didn't know who I was or heard of me. And, um, no, didn't know who Don was. He's since been quite intrigued by my work, haven't you? Uh, well, yes, really. Um, the main thing that um, caught my eye with uh, Don was um, he's hit, well, say... Uh, his success with the uh, electronic voice phenomenon, although I think you call it well, s yeah, um, something else, don't you? My communications. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, now I've uh, done a lot of research over, I think now it's going to be about nearly 17 years, and my main focus and attention has always been drawn towards electronic voice phenomena because uh, it produced results. Um, but... <sighs> When I met Don and saw Don uh, asking questions in real time and actually getting answers uh, from someone f seen whatever. Let's call them our spirit friends. Uh, spirit, but I, I try to avoid spirit. Well, <laughs> I know you do, <laughs> yeah. but you know. Yeah. Uh, but it sort of blew me away, really. Um, I, you know, I was, I was looking at there's any way that he could be cheating uh, and, and and somehow manufacturing uh, these voices, but I just couldn't see any proof of that at all. Well, scepticism is good. I mean, I've said this many times before, it's an integral part of any investigation. Everybody should be sceptical and actually use that in a tool on their investigations, um, you know. But to actually get to actually get uh, intelligent repl replies um, uh, almost to order um, uh, it was completely, re uh, but absolutely remarkable. Now I've had some success myself, uh, and I know that the phenomenon is actually real, uh, and otherwise I wouldn't be researching it. Mm. And uh, the 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 end result is uh, wow! Um, I've never seen anything quite like what. Don achieves, and, and, and not only does he achieve it, um, he achieves it in such a way that everybody can see that it's real because it's there. It's well, of, even if you take the recorders out of the equation sometimes, when I mean, you're yet to experience this, but hopefully you will, when you actually get replies, as in a previous video I mentioned, Steve Mara, for the first time I heard Becky mm -hmm. talking out of the air in a proper female, beautiful voice, it's a whole new level. Um, you did say it'd be nice if I can hear Becky tonight, but I thought he was pushing it. It took Steve two and a half, three years before he even got to that point to actually hear Becky. So if you to come down second attempt and Becky would say, oh, hello, Stefan. I didn't think it was going to happen. But um, you never know. It depends if she takes a shine to you. I don't know. Um, I don't know, really. I mean, I, I've been, I'm so excited to, to be here. Um, um, it's been a very, very eventful evening. It really has. And uh, what well, I mean, why am I smiling? I'm smiling because I, <laughs> I was smiling because I, uh, I'm happy. I'm so happy to have experienced and seen what I've seen tonight. It's just blown me away. A bit more about that at a later date. Yeah. I think the, the thing is, the problem with um, the paranormal to now. Um, Generally, with most people, the evidence is it proves very, very elusive as to as do the guys, and even more so is you know the EVP. If you get something like <laughs> now, the problem is people are putting that out. You cannot even I can't hear what what they're saying. You know, some mm -hmm. of it, does, some of it, it's not even vocal responses. No disrespect to anybody, each to their own. But people need to understand they need to be strict with their evidence. Because if you put something out that's open to interpretation or it's not what you think it is and you're claiming that as evidence, that, again, casts a shadow over the whole the whole subject, doesn't it? I mean, some people seem to think, oh, I've come across an issue in the past where uh, we've had very good 
uh, quality EVP that uh, they would call uh, class A's. Um, very easy to read, and or you'll hear people say, "Oh, that's um, that's just um, uh, one of the group or, uh, or some other yeah, person yeah. talking." And, and this is why I'm sorry to interrupt you. This is why it's very important. I mean, the other thing is. People are always putting stuff online, listening to CVP or whatever, and they put it through sound filters, and they just play the audio clip. Unless you can actually identify and show the equipment used, the environment that you're using at the time, mm. it's going to obviously be of lesser value, isn't it? That's right. I mean, and uh, from what I've seen from when uh, Don's been working and from his previous edits, I can see that um, you know it's all done real. It's all shown on camera. There's nothing hidden. Um, it's in real time. Yeah, the only thing that remains hidden is what chooses to remain hidden. I guess so. Yeah. Um, I guess so. Anyway, I quite like Stefan. So um, he's now going to be assisting me. Um, you are an expert audio analyst, are you not, Stefan? Especially um, coming from ASAP and, and all the training. Well, I, actually and have, um, I, have a, I actually have a background in radio as well, you see. So yeah. uh, I'm very accustomed to hearing sound even in noise, but I mean, I'm, I'm not really interested in uh, uh, sound that's embedded in noise. I'm, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm really after only clear voice. But the thing is, it goes beyond voice, because when it's not voice, when it's actually voices that's actually giving you information, which leads to a discovery which was not known about before, which is later verified, yeah. you know, that's, I mean, that's, again, that's another level. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, when I, f I first got interested in EVP, um, when I picked up the sound uh, with a colleague of mine uh, inside a, a derelict wind windmill, and when we had that, uh, and it was in the early hours of the, the morning, and when we had that sound analysed, um, I actually had it confirmed by a gentleman called Ray Harlow from Kent Windmill, and he said, that's the working sound of a, a windmill, and it actually yeah. fitted the type and build. And I think we call that a special EVP. Um, absolutely remarkable. And I got hooked from day one. And it wasn't a voice that I had to work out what words were being said. It was a sound. And the sound, according to uh, Ray Harlow from Kent Windmills, was basically that of a windmill. I think the thing we need to be aware of as well, Paranormal investigators get a lot of, they get a lot of crap. Criticism, oh, you're not scientific, there's this, there's that, and everything else. Do you know what, at the end of the day, these guys are out there in their own time doing the best, the best way they know how. There's not a rule book. Mm. You know, there's, there's no rule, uh, rule book. Uh, half the equipment that they use is not really meant for that anyway. You can never substantiate what's actually affecting it. You know, and I think, I think, <laughs> I think they shouldn't get a hard time. They should actually be giving credit for at least trying. I mean, there is good, there is bad, admittedly. But at the end of the day, people are trying, you know. Yeah, but even even if um, you know Joe Bloggs goes out there and to you know and he and he picks up something on his camera, he's still got the opportunity to pass it on to somebody that's got a bit more experience and a bit more knowledge, an expert um, uh, that can actually check it out, you know, uh, and tell us what. Rather than just put it straight out and saying, oh, look, I've yeah. caught a ghost on camera or this is what I, you know. You see, this is the thing. People are very keen to identify what they've caught as what they want it to be as well. And I think that's another problem. I mean, if it looks like a ghost, if it looks like an apparition, if it looks like a person, fantastic. Label it as what as what everybody else is going to see. But if you just get a pass the camera, like a whisper cigarette smoke or, or anything else, say, yeah, that's a ghost. I mean, people have a real hard time. Yeah, trying um, to, you know, so I just think that everybody should be a lot, apply a lot stricter working practices and rules to themselves. You know, I'd actually think this would work better if we had a cup of tea. Do you know what? I'm I'm getting really thirsty because um, <laughs> I am actually my throat and the. Yeah. So, um, shall we have a cup of tea? Yeah. And uh, we'll do this some more, and we'll go into depth about some things. So what we'll, what we'll, once we had a cup of, once we had a couple of tea, what we had to do is we'll even go to go through the start again. I'm sort of and I could lose me stutter and me ums and I'm trying to lose me ums and me ahs at the moment. Oh, you think we're not recording now? You think I've stopped it? Then we're going to start again? <laughs> no, we do things on the fly, guys. 
this is still recording. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, no, you're not in our TV studio, yeah, you know. It's like yeah. um, we um, will do this again. We're I'm all, tired. We are both tired. No, and we I need am a cup really of tea, tired. So this is the edit. Yes, yeah, so I've got a, I've got a, a, quite a bit of a drive home. Not that. Not much of a no. drive home, really. You look really shocked when I said, no, we're going to use this. Well, you probably... People, no, you, people you will. respect my honesty and transparency. Yeah. Yes. Nothing staged, nothing rehearsed. Yes. So yeah. I'm going to say goodnight when I'm going to say good morning. I was born with this brummy accent. <laughs> Just... <laughs> a cup of tea. I can't, I can't help it. A it's of, the way I speak. <laughs> a, cup of tea, a cup of tea is not going to cure that, you know. I know. Okay. No. So, anyway... We're out of here. Um, so, uh, Stefan is joining me in my work, my analysis, and he does land analysis. So, even though I can't talk now, of quite a lot of stuff. He's got the background, he's got the experience. So, looking forward to us doing some work together, Stefan. Okay. That's cool. Absolutely cool. Cup of, cup of tea time, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dear, you're a card. <laughs>